Okay, we just hold all three of them. Okay, no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, the I'd like to uh, the reason to discuss is the uh, Smith County High School trip, the basketball trip. Uh, I'd like a little more information on that. That uh, I want to make sure every, all our eyes are dotted and T's are crossed because. I don't want another problem like we had last year. So, Mr. Smith, have you got? Yes, sir. Uh, I have asked Coach Farrell and, and Coach Apples both here. Uh, uh, I had teams that went from Love Lady, Texas to California to Las Vegas. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to taint what the board wants to do, but I, I don't. I think it's a great experience <coughs> for young men and women. Uh, I can first vouch for Coach Farrell as far as what a good young man he is and, and he's literally had thousands of players and, and trips with his experience but I'd rather him tell you because he's the one coaching not me and uh, we don't ever want any kind of incident like we've had in the past and we don't want anything to ever black eye our community uh, but I do think that we put in a lot of safeguards that the board has to do uh, as far as uh, uh, forms of proper people. I think we brought a lot of attention to liability for coaches. Uh, we, we're having coaches meetings different now along with Coach Apple than we had a few years ago and uh, it's brought it to our side. But I'm going to let those two talk at this point and feel free to ask questions. <coughs> Coach Furrow or Coach Apple, whichever wants to go. Uh, you want to uh, talk? We're going to um, Salmon High School in um, Slidell, Louisiana. That's about 30, 35 minutes east of New Orleans. Um, probably have, I'm guessing, at least five or six chaperones that are school board employees, teachers. 
Uh, they're employees. Do what? That will be employees. Yes, they will be employees that are already. About how many girls you plan on will be? Uh, there's 16 players and there's three managers. Assuming that none of them have any kind of family thing that they don't get to go. There should be 19 kids. There's six school employees, Calvin, Coach Tucker, and I. There are almost every kid has at least one parent going. Um, now, the parents basically are used basically just for transportation. They get them there. Once they're there, they're ours. We do our thing as a group. Uh, we eat together. We go to wherever, whatever events that we end up doing together. We, you know, play games and then go back to the hotel and let them have however much time to get ready. Um, there should be eight, I think, rooms total uh, for the team, coach and staff, and then uh, Mr. Lee Rice is going our trainer. Um, and Coach Tucker and I's room will be on the opposite ends of the, of the hallway, so all the kids' rooms are in between ours. Uh, that's the way we've done it in the past, and that way it's easier for us to kind of keep a track of who's, who's where and all that. that. That was a concern I had when I coached. I always we tried to book in, we tried yeah, to get a whole row and then put the coaches on each end and then patrols on different hours of the night. I mean, that's just bad to say, but. Yeah, that's, well, the biggest thing, and, we, and like last year, we went to Hilton Head last year. Uh, we done the same thing. I was on one and she was on the other, and every, you know, every hour or two, we would get up and go and just kind of walk by, listen to the room, make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be, and all that kind of, we didn't have any kind of issues at all. Um, so we got a pretty good group of kids. I don't, I don't expect to have any, any issues again. Of the paperwork and everything that we have mm -hmm. implemented, the new paperwork, new paperwork that we've implemented, <coughs> that you've got all that in. Yeah. And okay. All of the people that are in the group that will be chaperoning also has all they all completed that. Will you up if, if it's approved? Will you update that with the? Yes. I'll, I'll put specific names. I don't have specific names Even on there, but I will, yeah, I will definitely update the specific names. Um, and last year I got Coach Apple. Once we like booked our rooms, I told him this: these kids are in this room. These kids are in this room. This is where the coach's room is. This is what time we're leaving Smith County. This is what time we expect to be there. Um, on this day, we play at 11. And I think I sent him an update every every day, if I'm not mistaken, on what time we play, what events we were planning on going to while we were there, that kind of thing, just so that they're all in the loop. If they get a phone call. They know where we're at. Permission to speak. I, yes, sir. I require I require as a principal for him to give me a daily agenda, um, room numbers and all that where they're assigned. But the daily agenda will be given to me. I will know I won't be on the trip with them, but wherever I am in the world, I will be able to look at the agenda and I should know exactly where they are at all times. Okay. We simply request permission to let the girls go on this trip because we think it's a good experience for that for that age student. Thank you. Any other questions? Mr. Wink. Oh, all the parents and chaperones stay in the cycle check. Is that correct? Yes, That's what, Jamie? Yeah. All, all the parents and chaperones are in the cycle check. Yeah. Yes, sir. He was trying, when I talked to him earlier after Mr. Shoulders asked me to get some information, you, you said you thought you were pretty much going to have at least one parent or a representative per yeah, child or yeah. young lady, right? That's right. Do you have something to look? No, I'd just like to make a motion to approve. Second. Make a motion. Second. Any more discussion? I, just, All in favor? Uh, I wish these, these ladies good luck. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Okay. Uh, good chance to look for superintendent's actions. Any questions, discussions? We're not going to new business. Uh, Item A is a 3.218 service animals and district <laughs> facilities. Uh, I have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Gentlemen, in discussion. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Winker, are you prepared to give a little bit about it? We've had some questions, I think, Mr. Apple. Yes, I shouldn't have blindsided you with that. No, I think, no, think um, you were pretty adept when I talked to you. But he, he's got a situation, and we want to kind of clarify here. We have had these issues to arise um, usually in the form of people trying to enter sporting events or certain extracurricular events with a service animal. Uh, the American Disabil with Disabilities Act does provide for these 
this policy that you've got before you is a model TSBA policy, so it's hard for me to say that you can't adopt that. Um, you're fairly limited, however, um, in the fact that there's just a couple of questions that you can ask. Uh, you can't really require documentation uh, related to a service animal. And it's really important to remember a service animal is drastically different from an emotional support animal. That's not what this is. This, this is limited to dogs, and I think the ADA actually says vintage horses, but uh, it, it is limited to, to dogs, and there are some fairly stringent restrictions on those, but this policy comes from the model policy, and, and frankly, we'll just have to take each each issue as it comes, but I'll have to recommend that you adopt the policy because I assure you we're going to get it. And it would be a whole lot easier for your principal <coughs> to be able to navigate this with a policy than without. On these animals, are they required to have the, the vest on? I know. Yes, sir. They're required to have the vest and the leash. The leash, definitely the leash and, and identifying information. They have to be housebroken. They can't be a disruption. They can't, you know, do those things that we've all had. <sighs> Animals not under control to do, or we can seek to have them removed. That's so, no documents, they don't have to have a document. You can't ask for them. All they got to say is this is. They've got, to, they've got to identify that it is a service animal, they've got to identify what disability it is there to assist with. So, so this is totally separate <coughs> than, say, a young uh, a young man or woman that is <coughs> going daily in school. That's a separate for the same exact thing. Same exact thing. That ain't your question. What rules are we following? Uh, who's who's the guideline? ADA. ADA. Well, what if what if I want to bring a pit bull? Well, as long as it's a service animal, it's not. I mean, I mean, then where's the liability fall for the young man or woman sitting next to it? Again, if it's if it's out of control, it can be. Removed. Can we ask them to be muzzled or? Uh, Files clipped and yes. Is this something? Well, service that, animal, yeah. service animals. If I'm not, if I've read this up correctly. Certain certain breeds of animals are service animals, and certain breeds are not. They have to. It has so to be the dog, and they have to. Now, whether that is or isn't, I don't know. Yeah, we've had a train from the guy. So it's it's, a, it's it's for emotional support. Yeah. I don't think that would be a service no. animal. Not a service animal. Not a service animal. It has to have a, a vest stating that it's a service animal and on a leash. Oh, emotional support animal is not covered by this. Okay, not but that's that's what you don't okay. bother. But you that's said, different. you I mean, you bring a dog. squirrel or a cat. Uh, do what? Now? You can't bring a squirrel or a cat. Or but then you said a whole, I mean, a pony horse. Well, they, the ADA identifies a miniature horse, yes. Okay, who's responsible? Okay, they supposedly bring a pony in. And, uh, and somebody walks down the hall and just, he decides to kick him and breaks a child's leg. Who's responsible? That's what I was going to say with the pit bull. Right. I would contend that the, the owner of the animal. But if we can't answer any paperwork. Yeah. But if they've answered those questions, then they've answered those questions. So we're not liable if that happened. Then. The position would be your right. Sir, you've asked those questions that they've answered them. We've got documentation that we asked them. They answered them appropriately. Yes, you've complied with the ADA. Is, is there a reason that we can't ask for uh, proof that it's a service animal? Other than their guidelines? Law says it. We've, we, we've, dealt with this in law enforcement. we've dealt with this in law enforcement. You can't ask them for their papers, but you uh, they have to comply with the, if, if they do not comply with our, our policies, then we can't ask them to leave. So, so to protect the federal law says explicitly you can't you cannot ask for documentation. Now, which I do not agree with. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. To protect our principal or whoever's doing is doing this, don't we need to bring up have a checklist for Mr. Apple to go down and ask these people. Yes, these sure. things, and if they've all been checklist, have them sign the piece of paper. Would that be anything wrong with that? Wouldn't be anything wrong with that. And that be documented. <coughs> that what I'm looking at legalities. Go that's <coughs> you're opening up. That scares me. That scares it, me. I guys. mean, dog. I mean, you're talking about dog or a pony. I mean, anything can happen when they get. I mean, anything can happen, and I'm just 
real cautious about this. I would like for each principal, whoever's going to be the person taking care of this. We can, we can, I mean, really every principal you, should have. Your policy has what they have to ask. In there. Right. You could do a procedure and then include that checklist. Have a checklist and then have the whoever's responsible, not the child now. I'm talking about the adult. Sure that's responsible for this child with this service animal, have them sign off on it. Yes. And they know that if that animal gets out of hand and causes a, a harm to another child, that they are to be the one they're looking at, not us. Yes. They have to, they have to leave Mr. Mr. Winkler, could you help us develop sure. a form and I will distribute it to the principals at that time? And yes. the reason I'm saying that, they can't come back and say, well, Mr. Apple didn't ask us that. If if it's if he's if it's on that list and he's asked them, they've signed it. Yes, he's asked. Them. You know. My question is, is if, if the uh, parent refuses to sign, well, there's no claims. Can we? Just have them? to cross that bridge when we come to it. Not say we do this. We could stop them from entering. Yes, sir. And, and boy, please understand. Uh, if it was up to me, I, I'd rather not do it. Yeah. I mean, because the easy thing is to not do it, but. You're going to get confronted with this issue, and I have to tell you, you've got to comply with their I'm just, I'm just looking at the liability on the school system. Uh, yes, sir. I always have. This, with so yes. many questions, uh, to be able to table this until a policy is, is created that, that uh, we all feel comfortable with. Sure. Myself or Mr. Glover has to make the motion for that to happen, or does it? Uh, he would have to. A man withdraw, uh, withdraw his motion. You have to withdraw your second in that motion. I, I think that right now it's wide open. It's nothing. You know, there's no guidelines for it. But, but John, you going? Well, the policy is, is there. It's going to be what it is. What it is. So, but we can still have a best practice guideline that we can add to it. Am I, am I not correct? You can do a procedure. So, so the, the paperwork. It wouldn't have to be added to this. Am I not correct? And again, the policy came from TSBA. We didn't write it up. They, that was their foreign policy. It doesn't, doesn't make it absolutely right. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Jones is saying we'd like to have this paperwork. We can do that. Right. Have it signed, have all this, uh, all of, you know, the checklist, all that, just not implement it tonight and say you start tomorrow. Is that what you're? Well, I, I just like to. I mean, it, I, I'm with you. I, I don't agree with this situation. I mean, the the um, easy thing to do is to not allow it. Frankly, but, you yes. So, are you going to withdraw your motion? I think Randy would have to do it since he made the motion. You, we can get the procedures together to attach to the policy if the board would like to see it. Yes, sir. But not make it active. I don't want it active until we get these procedures. If we were drawing, we wouldn't be able to vote on it. I mean, it couldn't be active until we vote on it next month. Correct. Yes. So okay. it'd be a whole other month before we done that. And you could have everything ready yes. to go with that. I certainly could have something you're looking at. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll withdraw my motion. And I'll withdraw my second. I'll be tabled. So I make a motion to table this till next month with the uh, implement of the. Uh, paperwork. Okay. I'll second it. You'll second that. Any more discussion on it? Roll call, Mr. Glover? Yes. Ma'am? Yes. Yes. So, yes. 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 And it's myself, yes. Yes. Bid approval for <coughs> gasoline and diesel. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay, Mr. Jones. I'll second. Discussions? Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Stoddard? Yes. Mr. Mann? Yes. Mr. Club? Yes. So, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Bid approval for Type C school buses. Have a motion? Motion to approve. I'm on second for the sake of discussion. Okay. Now let's open this up. Okay, we got a first. We got a motion and a second. Now we'll open up for discussion. 
Let me start. I don't, Tommy. Let me start. I don't. You're just going to discuss different options. This is not something I don't think. Yeah, I'm pushing one way or the other. I just wanted to let there were no options. I'd like to understand the difference between the propane and the diesel. Well, first of all, the the diesel, because of the new regulations coming in the next two years with the DEF, is going to be almost non-existent. A lot of our issues right now, and our biggest repair, is all involved around the DEF issues. We're spending two and three thousand dollars a bus to repair them every other year to keep them on the road. So that's one of the reasons I'm looking at other options. Plus, they're pushing the cleaner energy in the program. I'm not prepared really for electric. I don't think we're there yet. I don't think the backup is there yet so propane is the option so i brought ask miss paula to come tonight so she could answer a lot of those questions and the other thing is right now the snub nose type d that you like so well it's already like 18 months even to get them in so the two buses that we just got in may were 18 months getting here from where we bid them so if i need new buses to replace the ones that i had already asked you guys to sell because they're older i need buses that i can get in by the end of the school year like we always do and that's why i'm going with the type c they can build them and have them in six to eight months so that's why i'm, I'm going with that particular style so any other questions miss pollock was going to be uh, price of propane versus price of, first of all the deaf issue uh maybe i'm buying it maybe i'm not We're deaf. propane versus Diesel price of propane per gallon versus diesel. Um, price of propane, but actually, I brought some stuff, and she had told me that I could hand it out. I can answer some questions, but let me go ahead and give these to you. Um, so propane is, first of all, it's a it's a it's a domestic fuel. We have enough of it for the rest of our lives. We don't have to worry about foreign. So it is absolutely. Right now, one of my counties is walking in propane at a dollar thirty-eight a gallon and he's got that locked in for the year. I don't know what diesel runs. Can you tell we me just paid three dollars and twenty four cents. Okay. Yeah. Well is the miles so, per gallon yeah, the same? Situation. It is not, but it yeah. still averages out to be less. I would like uh, let me real quick, I'm sorry I was knocked over some of the water. I apologize. There you go. Here you go. Oh, you want one? <laughs> okay, so as far as the life of you know, the, when people ask me why I buy propane as opposed to diesel, the number one is cost savings. And it's cost savings over the lifetime of the bus per mile. It's about 26, make sure I'm quoting myself right here. I get nervous in front of you, so let me, I have it all again. But it's about 26 cents a mile cheaper than running a diesel. And it's not just about, um, here it is, yeah, 26 cents. It's on this page of this, but if you'll go to the back of it, the back page really kind of tells the whole story um, as far as what diesel versus propane, sorry, the diesel versus propane cost analysis is all right. But anyway, so I'm going to put that down and just talk to you. So miles per gallon, you are not going to get as many miles per gallon out of a propane bus as you are a diesel but it still averages out to be more because it's not just about fuel saving with a propane bus, it's service. It's um, just everything to do with it. A diesel bus with um, DF on it has 12 different parts that a propane or a gasoline engine do not even have. We do not even have on there. So that right there is a savings. If you ever had to replace an engine, we haven't yet. <coughs> but you know, it's, it's half the cost of a diesel. It's just the whole overall <coughs> picture of every single savings, maintenance, fuel, all of it. And it comes out to a conservative number for the lifetime of a bus. And we run them. Diane, do you keep yours 18 years here in Tennessee? I keep some of them 18 years. Okay. We run them all so, 15 and about half of them don't. So a lot of this analysis is run over 18 years because that's what we run them here in Tennessee normally. And over the lifetime of a propane bus versus a diesel engine bus, it's going to be about $21,000. It's a very conservative number because the, the numbers really show it's about $3,300 a year that you save with a propane over a diesel. So it's a little it's a little bit more money on the front end, but on the back end, um, 
that we're really seeing it. There's over 20,000 deployments of the propane engine, our propane engine, in the United States. Um, there's so many benefits. It, it is more than that. So like one of the things you'll never have to do is plug one in in the morning. No more engine block heaters. You don't need them. Then you don't have to worry about idle time. These things heat up. Cold start. I was in a demo in Michigan and they had a cold, it was 34, negative 34 degrees, and they did a cold start, and every one of these buses started just boom, 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 boom. I know you can't say a diesel's going to do that because it just doesn't. So we don't have, you know, have to plug those in. Idle times are down. You don't need to idle these buses. They'll heat up like your pickup truck five minutes down the road. Just, I don't know, there's so many things I love about the propane product. I've been personally selling them now for 13 years, and um, that county that bought my first one, as of the end of this month, we'll have 108 in their fleet. It's their only fuel source to make right now. So I tried to put this together. I didn't know if you were making decisions tonight. There's a lot of information. I tried to pull just not let it be overwhelming, but get some good information for you all. So yeah, but how do you, you want, want me to see? fuel is that? Are we going to have a propane tank or are we going to have a fuel somewhere? Um, to start out with, one of the, the Roche company, um, when we talked to, I was talking about this last year and then we kind of let it by side. So with only having, if we were to buy the two buses that we need in propane, we could arrange for them to come and fuel them twice a week for the stuff we need. And if I had one of the buses going on a trip somewhere, I could arrange for them to come. Once we bought a few more, then we would slowly start transitioning to a uh, tank there at the garage where we would fuel them just basically like you do. It's a, the diesel and the gasoline. So we would slowly convert the big diesel tank once all those buses ran through their life into propane. So yes, eventually we would add a tank. Mm -hmm. Ideally, it would be really good to add one in Gordonsville where we don't have any fuel, and that way those drivers don't have to come all the way over here to fuel their buses now that we have drivers fueling their own. Don't you have to be certified to fuel those things? No, 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 sir. I can do it. Yeah. Anybody, you know, can. anybody can do it. I can have, yeah. and normally when I do, when I put a propane bus in a new county. I need to ride and drive because there's a lot involved. They run. Um, our our propane bus has the um, 7.3 liter Godzilla engine in it and um, people like to run them pretty hard and you don't need to do it. I mean the power's there so we like to teach drivers to just drive it like you would your car or your truck. We don't need to floor it. Don't floor them like you do diesels. You don't. They just perform a lot quicker and faster. So. What about the mechanics? Can they work on some of you? They've attended three different training sessions the last three years on propane because we've been, I've been talking with Ferry about it for a couple of years and we were almost going to make that decision and then diesel came right back down. So we said, well, let's wait because diesel comes down. Now both gasoline and diesel are up and down. You can never tell. So I think it's getting time to start seriously looking at making that switch. So Art availability for the farm. That's no problem. Not a problem. And I would like to say that we as a company offer really good training and Roush and <coughs> Roush Clean Tech is who does the propane conversion on the Ford engine for us and their relationship with Bluebird is really, really strong. And um, we personally, I usually host a training in the East and one in the West each year. Now, <coughs> last, the last two years we've been doing them all the one in the summertime, but we're getting so many on the road, I'm probably going to go back to one in the east and one in the west every year, which we're going to you can kind of go whichever direction you want it to go. So. Which, which of our surrounding counties use propane? So closest to us, we have some in Rocky County, several. Clarksville, Montgomery is the ones with the whole on the road. I don't like I have so many. Um, we have a whole bunch in the east, but that's not my territory. Morgan County has them. Um, Hancock County has them. Hawkins County has them. <coughs> we don't have anybody that's touching Not, them, so. not right here, but I mean, our shop, I'm not 30 minutes, what is it? 30 minutes, 30 minutes. to get to our shop. We're right down the road. Where's your shop located? Lebanon. This the outskirts of Lebanon, right off of I-40. <coughs> Exit 109. I have a question. Yes. I had a business that I run about 400, at one time about 400, 500,000 gallon of propane per year. Mm -hmm. Is this road taxed or is it like <coughs> you get it agriculture? Because like, it's a whole lot cheaper. <laughs> I 
I it, it's not bad either. I actually know the answer to that, but I, uh, I don't know the answer to that. I'm pretty sure. If, if, we, if we could buy an agriculture, we'd sure be cheap. I'm almost certain that's how that's done because <laughs> I know it's a. I don't know the answer to that. You usually you prepay on it and get like. Yeah, so, but I was going to share with you this, and it's on one of the pages. Every year since I've been selling propane buses, which was um, the beginning of 2012, we have had um, a tax credit from the federal government. And sometimes it'll go away, but every time they bring it back, they retro all the way back to when it had stopped. And right now it's in place till the end of 2020. Yeah, my question is you can't tell the difference if it's agriculture or look at it. You know, some died like they said. No, not at all. And liquid propane, so I don't know if anybody's had any you know, dealings with propane before 2010, but they used to try to do the, <laughs> the gas thing. We had a lot of coal problems and it was terrible, but this is a liquid propane injection. And we just, I'll be honest, I, I, I sell all of them, but this is my they, absolute they, favorite. Years, years and years ago, uh, they used to run them on, uh, illegally, and they would they'd put them on trucks and stuff. And mm -hmm. And those engines, when you broke them down, they were the cleanest. And it's like they come out, there was no wear. It is crazy. There was no oil yeah. deposits. They just look like. Mm. Yeah. I one time was there. And they were doing that on gas, just, you know. And we did a, we did a, it was right when I first started selling them, we did a tour of one that had 40,000 miles on it. It was almost white glove clean. I was like, that's insane. That's cleaner than my. Are you not seeing any more uh, mechanical issues with the propane versus the diesel or the gas? I'm seeing way less mechanical You're seeing issues. less? Way less way less yeah i mean I, will, I said they're my favorite and people ask me why and it's because they give me less problems um, i don't you, i think you told mr glover right here what, what counties are close enough that we i'm trying to think i'm, I'm probably could you give us a list that. i can get you a list absolutely and i can get you several people if to talk to in, those, in those in those counties who have already running them that would be happy to talk to you because quite the, let's see i have them in hickman what county i have them in perry county I don't know why I'm going blank, but yeah, you know, if we if it's something more down the road inside, what what would it look? What were we looking at the cost to get set up to have our own? So I don't like actually, I had a tank big enough I could take a semi load, so I got a pretty good break on it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know. What that so with two buses, I mean, for up to I think it's seven buses. They say a ten thousand gallon tank is enough, or a thousand gallon tank is enough. Not ten thousand. I'm sorry. So once you know once you get several on the road you'll just have to roll with it but i've had counties that all they had to do was pour the concrete slab which cost them fifteen hundred dollars because a lot of it didn't really take anything special other than a tank and the it's nozzle a, it's, a, it's a tank and a nozzle i mean so you I, can I, I thought it took like a station or something you have to have a a concrete pad yeah I and mean, it's just a regular propane tank with and then all of them come now with the euro easy connect nozzle so you just took it on it clamps on and fill it up unclamps it also has a safety feature that so I Is there any danger? I mean, a spark or different than driving? Yeah, you've got to wear gloves wreck. because it's so cold, but that's yeah. it. There, there, listen, there is a danger with a spark. Uh, I know this personally, but we've had an accident where I work. A spark off the vehicle, maybe a flash of light, and it will not blow up. I'm, I'm not an advocate of propane. Uh, we have to take all our propane out of the corporation. Because of this incident, that just because a light was flashing, it was far off the light. Yeah. And, and I have heard of those, but the way our tank is designed, um, Roush, and I've done the tour there, the, the Roush, there, it's not just a bunch of people that were hired to come in and build these, they're all engineers, and it's a fantastic setup. Um, but our propane, it's all designed like when you turn on the bus, it's got a delay. You just turn the key and wait because it's got to bring the fuel out of the tank because it is designed to take the fuel back to the tank and get it all out of the lines until you start that bus and run it again. And so, for instance, there was a bus that was actually on the way to our Missouri location and it had a brake line issue. So they had stopped in Chattanooga to um, have the brake fixed. It was a Sunday. There was only one place open. They fix the brakes. They take off. They get down the road and the brake line caught on fire. There was an explosion, but it was the it was the um, front tire. It was not anything to do with the bus and um, or the 
the fuel itself. Now it said the next day the headlines was propane bus explodes, but that is not what happened. It was just the tire. Um, we have had zero situations like that. Like I said, we have 20,000 of them on the road, and I can show you the data that shows that we have not had anything. We even had one, a driver was towing his um, brand new Kia behind a bus, and he didn't do something right with the, the way he was towing it, and it caught on fire. And when he stopped the bus, the Kia rolled up under it. It actually caught the bus on fire right at the fuel system, but the fuel tank performed the way it was supposed to. All the fuel went back to the tank. It stayed there. There was no explosion, no fire, no nothing. So, and as of, and I don't dispute anything he's saying, I'm just saying of the 20,000 that we have on the road, we've had absolutely no situation with fueling, sparks, or any of the things. You don't have to retrofit your bus garage like you would if it were natural gas. Um, you don't have to do any of that. You can pull them right in, and anybody who can work on a um, car engine can work on these. And, and Diane, I guess this is quite a few bit. We told them now back most of the time we end up silly, but say we had a bus in Chattanooga, your mechanic could go there and work on the same they could have diesel, or would that would it be? It would be basically the same like when we came to you in Lexington, Kentucky. And we do have quite a few on the road. So like we've had one that coming out of Weekly County that had an issue and they were able to stop at Clarksville. And, and they helped them get off the road and fix it. How, how are they power responsive? I know we used to, like I said, they didn't have the power then. They're very power responsive. They got more power? I yeah. think so. They're they're quicker, they'll I they'll guess is the way to say. Yeah, you're used like, to that, you was, used to that was a drawback to a propane. They tell they were very sluggish, you know what I mean? They're not sluggish at all. That's what I was saying. I like to come and give riding drives with these to let drivers know that they don't have to stomp them. They just, just like you with your truck. Just push the gas pedal and go because it's going to respond that way. They're very, I, I think they're safer to pull out. I mean, they get the same transmissions, rear ends, everything that a diesel does. No, they are, they actually have the Ford, we have a Ford engine and a Ford transmission in them. And the reason that came about was prior to this generation, our, this whole generation with the Ford Roush started in 2010 ish. Um, and that was the reason our first generation, which was the, the it wasn't a liquid propane injection. So, you know, we had somebody doing the transmission, somebody doing the engine. And so everything that went wrong, there was fingers pointed and Bluebird's like, we're not doing that again. So when Ford and Roush paired up because of their relationship, we said, let's do it all. Let's put the... So these are true propane motors where it used to, they were just conversion to gas. Correct. They are, okay. they are Ford engines with... Roush Clean Tech doing the conversion for the um, there's the 7.3 liter Godzilla engine and it's a Ford engine. So is it a, is it a regular set of engine? It's a gas engine. It's a gas engine that's converted to propane. It had yeah, there's nothing diesel related to it. Yeah. Oh, I got a question. I want to go back to the beginning of your presentation. Yes, sir. I asked you was it cheaper than diesel? And you said it was like 30 something cents based on these numbers here. That's it's 26 cents. The average comes in about 26 cents. Oh, these numbers in here. Yeah. These, and where these numbers come from is Roush Clean Tech goes around and they, they get data and they call it total cost of ownership. I noticed in your calculations here, you're $4.40 a gallon for diesel fuel, and we're at $3.24 a gallon. So, that's okay. where but I mean, that's what you guys are getting. But I know people who are paying over four. But these are these are just numbers that Roush put together for us. And I could I could get you the numbers out of Clarksville, and his are he actually said his are better than this. But this was the presentation that I had my um, Roush guy put together for me and sent to me. There's always fluctuation in fuel cost. But not really in propane. It's been very, very, very steady. Now, these are these are gas engines, so these buses are not built like a like a diesel. Yes. Not going to be as heavy duty. No, the body of the bus is the exact same bus. The suspension, they like suspension. Everything is the same, one hundred percent. On the Type C, well, if yes, it's the same suspension on the Type C buses that we have now that have the diesel engine, but it's not the same suspension as. The flat wheels, which yeah, is a bigger, heavier bus. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't make the propane engine and the front engine. The engine just is not going to fit in it. We're trying, but it's just not happened yet. And so to that, 
the our front engine bus comes with a 14.6 um, front axle. These are a 12,000 pound. But these buses run as long as it as the front engine do. So these are rear engine these pro no, you, These are a conventional. These are product. all conventional. Yeah, like this one right here on the front of this. Side. Okay. No, she said they did put it in the snow cone. Oh, you do put it in no, the snow cone? No, we haven't been able to. You don't have to. Don't don't we don't. Well. We don't. They will not fit. We've tried. We begged. And prior to 2020, supposedly it was this close to going into you know, testing. And then, of course, 2020 changed everything. And right now, I'm having a hard enough time getting a diesel from them. Um, as she said, she just waited 18 months on her bus. And I, I don't have an answer to why. It's kind of silly. But these buses honestly could probably be delivered closer to six months than eight. But I always say six to eight months because that's what the market will, what the industry is doing right now. It's been very hard. Let, let me make a suggestion. <coughs> How about that we table this? Well, I, I'm going to say that because <coughs> I'm going to kill this tonight. Yeah. And I don't think I'm the guy that I'll be here killing this propane bus and killing this sea type bus. Let's table it and let Mr. Smith maybe visit some of these or anybody go. But let me ask this to you. Are, you're gonna you're gonna ask for buses regarding whether they be Yes, I I need okay. to. Okay. That's I just want to make sure I'm clear or we're just asking options. for B. I, I wasn't clear if we're right. asking for propane buses or we're just asking I had her price off I, I bid all of them from all the vendors so that the board could say, Well we really don't think we want to do propane now, so here's our other option. So there is a price in that bid how for long, gas. How long is the bid? We don't want to round the bid. Are we good to uh, next month? I think right now we're we're okay for at least sixty days. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. I can hold we on. this as, as a a second as a sake of discussion. Yeah, and if you if you would like I can happily get together some well, phone numbers for people to call I don't, the counties. I don't want to be the one here that's gonna kill this because I, I will not tonight vote for this. And I don't want to be and there's only five of us here. Right. So I don't think it's doing the due diligence for the whole board to look into this because it would actually kill tonight. Understood. Completely. And I don't want to do that. She just right. asked me to come and answer some questions, and that's so, what I tried to do. That's the reason I didn't Can I leave these so two as That's the reason well, I didn't, so I didn't to be in the ground out if we need to go ahead and order diesel yeah. buses, is what I'm trying to say, Here, and look into these, it. So the other. If, if, would you be good for 30 more days? Well, it ain't going to be 30. It's going to be three weeks. For so our October board meetings must do it. We may do it for three weeks. Because I don't want to Because my other three don't actually expire until January, so we're good. We can run them, and they won't be record of what really threw us behind is when the last buses were over a year late. Normally, I don't even request this to January and February so that we can get them in July. But knowing that if we went to the D, it was going to be longer, I wanted to strike now so that by maybe August, we would have buses back in. And I'll be honest, you're not going to have a bus. I, I ordered four in <coughs> April and Sarah was sent them, but the four in April that I ordered, I just looked today because they called me obviously not for this school system and they're due to me one year from right now according to right now's paperwork which is just crazy to me and this is diesel that's the diesel product the propane gasoline or um, type c um i can have in really closer to six months but we say six to eight months just to get a buffer and on these type sped bus we would have to add ac to it so that would be a little bit longer because that, that requires more of it so I'll have to make it. Uh, I'll make a motion to retract my original motion. And I'll take my second back. And I'd like to make a motion to table this until next month. And I'd like to second. Okay. Everybody understand it? Got all of this. Okay. Uh, let's see how we need to do this. You were drawn. You removed. You removed yours. So uh, let's make a motion. I mean, we've never made a motion in second. Let's vote on the first one <laughs> that. You were removed. You're removing your uh, motion, and you second. We actually don't have to vote on it. No, we never. He, he's withdrew his motion. He withdrew his second. He's made a motion to table it. That's been seconded. So Just that's all we're good. Like we're, good. we're good. Okay. Yeah. All you need to vote on that. Okay. okay. Any any more discussion? <clears throat> if not, all in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Uh -huh. Good.
Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Request permission to purchase 225 Chromebooks and nine Chromebook cards. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay. Second. Second. Uh, discussion? If not, this is a roll call. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Mr. Manning? Yes. Mr. Glover? Yes. Sir? Yes. Okay. Anybody got any discussions that do uh, you have any executive sessions? Uh, annual policy review for September. I hope you all had a chance to look at all that. Do I have a motion to adjourn? I've got a question on one of those policies, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. On the uh, policy 1.808, registered sex offenders, does our school system, do we send out a list of the sex offenders to the schools so they know who's coming in the schools if they see them? We don't. We don't. Have a, I guess we'd have access, but we wouldn't. It was, wouldn't be a notification, I guess so. But no, I'll tell you something, we are doing, and we're putting, and I haven't told the board yet because they got them installed. I think they'll be, we've got a new deal that, that you've probably seen them in some of the doctor's offices. I, I, fear, I fear both of you guys are law for You know, you film on your driver's license, they'll mm -hmm. tell you anything that you got a, a, an outstanding warrant or sex offender, those will be installed. I got them bought. We're waiting on the end service. Uh, we'll be in every school. See anybody comes to check a kid out, we'll punch that in and it will immediately tell us. But we don't have a, a list per se that the state or the federal government sends us as a sex offender list. Okay. That's all I have. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.